And so he, he did these drawings. And he was talking about them. And they showed him with a dust mask on and these hunks of charcoal and working. And he would look at it and he would grab this piece of uh, big loaf of French bread. And he would just take it and he would use it to smear the charcoal around. And then he was drinking a Pepsi and he'd walk over to it. And he'd toss the Pepsi on it and the Pepsi would bubble up and start to come down. And he goes, Pepsi has the best effect on charcoal that you can't get any other way. And it would really break the charcoal up. You know, it's like, and then you look at them with these giant hunks of charcoal on these sticks, these big long sticks, marking, you know. And then some of them he was really happy with, some he was dissatisfied with. And then he'd wipe them out or roll over them and redo it or change it. That's incredible. 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 And then, so he worked, I forget, it was a week or two weeks. And then the show was over, the work was over, and the opening was, was that night. And the next day, there he is, signing these prints and giving them to people. And he goes, oh man, my back really hurts now. It's funny, you work for two weeks, and you're really involved, and you feel great, and nothing's wrong with the back. As soon as you stop working, well, the back starts hurting again. And, uh, Really excited. Now I show it to my students right before they have to do these giant charcoal drawings. And then they realize that it's not about it's about shoulder and wrist taking and it's great.